Hello, Geminis. So last reading I did, I was getting that your ex is going to come crawling back and you have a life-changing choice ahead. Like, do you really want to go back to that or do you want something new? And for the Geminis that I channel, I've been getting this consistent energy that you guys are really coming into your power. Like you have been the past year, but more than ever, you're just really, your energy is just magnetic to, to multiple people. Like this is like the energy of someone who like you attract, um, secret admirers, you know, you have exes, you have new love, like you have all these people that just notice your energy and notice your uniqueness. And you're really coming into your power and manifesting what you want. So let's see what the current story is. What do you need to know right now? Got beauty reversed. Movement reversed. Loyalty. I might needs to be... I think I messed up some of these cards, so I'm going to put them up right. I feel like too many of them are reversed now. I need to... I haven't organized them. <laughs> but we have beauty. Or we have... Sorry. We have movement, beauty, loyalty... And the moon. Okay, so I feel like someone's uh, thinking about coming in. Someone's just come in or there was some kind of shift that happened with a recent moon cycle. Like the new or the full moon. Or it could be that it's coming up with like the next full moon or the next new moon. Because we have movement, beauty, and loyalty. Like someone moving forward towards you. Like noticing your beauty noticing your uniqueness and wanting to be loyal to you this might be someone that cheated on you in the past or just ghosted you or it was just kind of disloyal in the past but now they're really no they're appreciating you more maybe your energy has shifted away from them and they don't have you the way that they did before and now they're starting to it's like you don't know what you have till you've lost it kind of energy where it's like now that they've sort of lost you a little bit it's like now they're wanting to come back around like now they're starting to appreciate you I know, but it's like, where was this person before? Like, what's taken them so long? But, you know, with this with this group of Geminis that I've been channeling, like I said, I feel like you have multiple options. Like, I do feel like you have, like, a, an ex that was kind of toxic um, that is wanting to come back around and do things differently this time. But it's like they kind of just, they're, they're wanting to come back because it's like your energy shifted away from them and they don't have your attention the way that they used to. But... And like I said, you're really in your power. You're really charismatic. You're really um, like in the, like you've been consistently in this seductive energy. I don't even know if you notice that maybe it's just like a natural charm that you have about you, like a, almost like a fairy glamour type of energy. It's like the, the way you make eye contact, the way you smile, like it just might be like this very like soul based, like natural charisma, natural, um, you know, chemistry that you're like, you're, you might not even be noted, you might not even notice that you're doing it, you know, um, like maybe like you flirt or something, but you don't even notice that you're flirting. So it's like you have multiple options, you know, you might have this ex that wants to come back in, but I feel all, I still feel that energy of like people on social media that are like watching you or people just around you that are noticing you and kind of you know, interested in you, like new love coming in, like you have a lot of options, like you're, the world is kind of your oyster right now. Yeah, this person is in like denial about this connection though, or maybe you're in denial, like you don't believe that this person could ever really be loyal because we got oath here. Yeah, it's like this person, it's almost like you experience soul loss with this person, like they took away a part of you, you know, they left you kind of fragmented. And so it's really hard for you to trust um, that they could ever be loyal to you. And, you know, you do need to use your intuition, high priestess of spirit here. Maybe this is your intuition telling you that this is forbidden, that this is not something you want. Um, the cards might just be here to, sorry, you know, it's like, is maybe it's not a choice anymore. You know what I mean? Like originally it was a choice and you're like, no, I'm not an option anymore. I'm not on the table anymore. So maybe it's just sort of confirming, like, yes, you are feeling the ex's energy. That's that's real. That's not just in your head. Because I have that happen, too, sometimes where I, like, all feel, like, the energy of my exes. And I'm like, is that person thinking about me? Like, like why am I thinking about them? Like, I'm over them. I don't want them back. I don't understand why they're in my energy field. I don't understand why I'm thinking about them. And it, like, confuses me. And I'm like, well, maybe they're thinking about me a lot. 
maybe I'm feeling that connection still. So I feel like it's kind of one of those situations where it's like you're you're either over it or you just won't allow yourself to to get into this energy anymore. You know, like it might still hurt you and you might still miss them, but you're being strong and you're you're telling yourself this is forbidden. You're not getting back into this energy. The cards are just kind of confirming that, yes, you are picking up on an ex's energy. Yes, they are actually thinking about you. They are considering messaging you. Um, that That is real. Um, is, is what I'm getting from the cards at least, but you might need to cut the cords. If this is something that you're, you're really done with, I feel like you might need to, um, to cut the cords on this. Cause this might be why this person's still in your energy field and why you're still in theirs. And so it's like, you might, you might just really need to, um, to cut the cords. Cause they're trying to be brave. They're trying to be in this warrior energy and come back to you and take this risk, you know? come towards their their Aphrodite their their enchantress or or um could be male or female either way you know there's too many there might be too many differences here for this to work though but this person is like feeling inspired to be brave and and have integrity and come forward and take this risk for you so you might be want to be aware of that that you might want to push this away you might want to cut those those red cords astrally um, so that you guys stop picking up on each other's energy. Cause this could be something that you're just kind of done with, but it's like, you're still feeling them and you don't know why. And it's like frustrating you. Cause you're like, I'm done with this. Why are they showing up in my dreams? Why am I thinking about them? And it's like, well, cause they're the, cause the red cords might still be there and they might be thinking about you a lot. And it's like a power struggle, like chaser, chasey, like you were chasing them before and they were running. And now they're the one chasing you. Like the tables have turned. You're focusing on other things. And they can feel that energetically, like on a telepathic level. They feel that they don't have you, your energy and your attention anymore. They feel that you're focused on other things. They feel that you're not wanting them the same way that you used to. Or maybe you got into like a relationship where you're doing other things and they're noticing it and they don't like that. You know, because playing hard to get, it's not just about what you're doing physically. It's about what's going on energetically too. Because you can... You can like ignore someone and not talk to them, but if you're sitting there obsessing over them and thinking about them all the time, they can they can feel that energy. They can they can still telepathically sense that they still have you. And I think that's where you were before with this person, where you used to in the past, you would obsess over them. And so you're like, well, I'm trying to play hard to get and I'm not ta I'm not talking to them. I'm not doing anything. Why aren't they chasing me? Well, it's like they could still feel that they had you like they could still feel that energy between you guys. But now you really are genuinely focusing on other things and you're not letting your heart get sucked back into this and they can feel that energy and now they're wanting to come forward in this, this warrior energy and take this risk for you. Um, but it's like you need to listen to your intuition because this might not necessarily be trustworthy. It might just be like they don't. It's like they're just trying to hold on to you. They don't want to see you with anybody else. They don't want to lose you. They don't. You know, like they, they want that attention back. So you need to listen to your intuition because it might, this might just need to be over for real, but you might need to, this might be coming up to let you know that you still have red cords attached to this person that you need to go in and cut because it's like this person probably shouldn't be in your energy field anymore because I feel like you've made the conscious decision that you don't want this anymore. Even if you still miss them and love them, I feel like you're being logical and you're being strong and you're, you know, you're like, you know what? I don't care how I feel like this person cheated on me or this person like ghosted me or abandoned me when I needed them or this person did this or that. Like, I don't, I don't, I know that I don't want this. I know what I deserve. I know that this isn't it. I know that I want more than, than this. You know what I mean? Like you're in that energy where you like, you understand and you know that this is not enough for you anymore. So I feel like, but, but I mean, like, considering that you've made that conscious decision, you still have to take care of whatever is going on, like, telepathically, astrally, because even if you've made that decision consciously, you could still have those red cords that are connecting you guys. So it's like you're picking up on their emotions and energy without realizing it, and they're still able to get through. Um, they're still able to tap, for whatever reason, they're still able to tap through into your energy. They might be asking friends about you as well. Like, there's something that's still keeping them connected to you. So if you want this to be over with, you really have to um, cut that out. Like you have to cut the cords or 
you know, you need to do something to kind of distance yourself from this because otherwise it's going to keep showing up in your energy field and it's going to keep frustrating you because you're going to be like, I'm done with this. Why am I still thinking about them? Yeah, they're wishing for another chance. But again, you need to use your intuition because for a lot of you, I feel like it's going to be, it might be like a honeymoon phase when they come back in, but then it's going to be the same chaos. Same chaos as before. Yeah. So it might not really be something that you want, you know? Um, I mean, just because it's, just because they're finally fighting for you doesn't mean that they're necessarily trustworthy. You know what I mean? It's like kind of like a, a too little, too late energy. Like why did they... Why did they take so long to do this, you know? Um, I'll pull some more cards. Um, can you show me new love? Because I think a lot of you are already done. Like like I said, I feel like you're already done with that. Even if it still hurts, I feel like you're consciously, you've made the decision that you're done with that, whatever that is. So I don't want to get too much into that energy. Show me the new person that you've just met or that you're going to meet or... You know, show me the, the, I don't know who it would be. Maybe it'd be someone from the past coming back around. I'm not sure, but show me the, the other energy. What's the other energy looking like? You don't really need to tap into the ex. I know it's frustrating when like your exes come through in the readings. Cause that happens to me too. When I watch other readers and I'm like, Oh, this is my story. Maybe it's going to tell me about new love or something good coming in. And my ex will like pop up in the reading and I'm like, Oh gosh, never mind. <laughs> So I know that's frustrating. So I'm like, okay, there's just that quick message that you need to cut the cords or you need to tell your friends to stop telling this person about you. That's for some of you. Um, but let's look at the new person. Mutual feelings, emotional depth, uh, isolation, loneliness, emptiness, pride, stubbornness. End of a pattern or cycle, breakthrough, freedom, nostalgia, longing. Ooh. God, do you have multiple exes wanting to come back around? I swear, do you have two exes wanting to come? Yep, you have two exes wanting to come back around. And you have a new person. Do you have a new person? It's confusion. Oh my gosh, sorry. It's, it's, is there a new person wanting to come back around? Pendulum is confused. <laughs> it's like too many energies for the pendulum. It's just like, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Um... Crap. <laughs> I feel like two or three people for you, though. I feel like there were mutual feelings there with someone. And they wanted to talk to you, but they were, like, afraid of rejection. Or there was just, like, an energy of pride or stubbornness. Like, they felt isolated and alone and empty. But they pretended like they didn't. And maybe... Maybe you, like, left them for your ex or something. Or maybe, like, there was some kind of, like, like, they were hurt by something that you said or did. Or, like, they felt like they were just a friend or something like that. But I feel like this period of, like, no communication or, like, pride and stubbornness and, like, not expressing yourselves to each other, I feel like that's ending. And they're getting into this energy of nostalgia. I feel like you're coming up in their dreams, like, telepathically communicating, maybe having visions about you. Um like your guides are bringing them back up uh, on like a telepathic level and it's it's making them nostalgic for you. You know, the mutual feelings were there for sure. What are they going to do next though? What do they want to do next? Yeah, there was some kind of anger and miscommunication between you two. It, probably an ex, I feel. Yeah, well, yeah, I guess that would be an ex. Be someone that you used to go out to clubs and parties with for some of you. Or it could be someone's taking a break from that, like from um, addictions or that kind of like, like a certain lifestyle that they had. Or maybe that there was like a certain addiction or lifestyle that like made them that way. And now they're wanting to get out of that energy so that they can um, be themselves more and like, uh, you know, offer you love. So there's some kind of power struggle here. Now they're just spying on you. They're wanting to talk to you. They're wanting to talk to you and be open with you, but they're still just kind of stubborn and afraid of getting hurt. Um, it's interesting energy. Hmm. I feel like you have a few different people. Like you have a couple, like you have like a toxic ex and then you have someone that like might not necessarily be toxic, but like they, 
are really sensitive and they get hurt easily, like they maybe misunderstood you or they, um, they were just like, maybe it was like just the wrong timing or something, like something came up and it's like, there's, you guys are on the same page, but you just don't realize you're on the same page. There's like a lack of communication or there's miscommunication, but now they're wanting to clear this up and end that cycle and come back around and talk to you. They're kind of starting to realize maybe they misunderstood something here. Yeah, they're wanting to make a move. They might be waiting for a green light from you to see if they still, if this is still something that you're open to. So right now they're just kind of waiting and hoping and praying and like trying to see like, are you going to, would you allow this? Like, what do they say? It's like awkward now between you guys. Um, they want to take it slow and kind of pull you in and get to know them. Um, but I just, I feel confusion from them. I feel confusion from them. Yeah, they feel a sense of happiness with you, warmth, light, like they see you in this very angelic energy. Maybe they do know that you're, maybe they know that you're in love with someone else, or maybe you talk to them about someone else and they got jealous and upset for some of you. Um, or like they feel like there's like a third party or there's like another energy. Like it's like this person wants your attention, but they feel like something else is in the way. And, or they or they did in the past and that led them to kind of like silence themselves. I don't think you realize how much you hurt this person. I feel like this person actually um, like has a lot of pride and I feel like, I feel like maybe you said or did something that they misunderstood or maybe like you were venting about like a, another person or you kind of, maybe you said like, oh, maybe, like you probably said something like, oh, maybe I'm going to move out of state one day. And they kind of like read too much into that and was like, oh, wow. So they don't really see a future with me. They're just going to, they're just going to up and leave the state. What about me? Like, what, where do I come into that? You know, it's like that kind of energy where like there was some kind of miscommunication, like you said or did something that they didn't understand or like you vented about an, a, an ex and they thought that maybe you're not over your ex. But this person just like was silent about it. Like they didn't say anything. They just kind of like slowly distanced themselves. Like they they stopped responding to your messages as much. They um like they were really hurt by something that happened between you two, but they didn't let you know that they were hurt by it. They didn't know how to communicate like an adult. So they just kind of like like slowly backed away, you know, like started um and like not responding to her messages as much or like they were like pouting they were pouting really bad and maybe they thought that you would notice that they were pouting but you just were confused and had no idea what they were doing like you're just like okay why are you being distant all of a sudden like why are you not talking to me as much why are you always busy these days when we used to talk all the time like now you're constantly busy like I don't understand you know and it's like they were pouting and they expected you to just realize that they were pouting and for you to make things right. And when you didn't, you didn't understand what was going on, you really thought that they just stopped caring or that they were just busy or you just, you, you tried not to take it personally. So there's like this major miscommunication between you two, um, all because they didn't just communicate and tell you they're upset about something. And so they kind of took it as like, since you didn't fight for them, like you didn't try to pull them back in, they kind of took it as like, you just don't care, you know, like they just kept pouting and they kept having too much pride to tell you how they felt. Um, and now they're kind of regretting that and they're spying and, and looking at your social media and having this new perspective and wanting to come back in and wanting to maybe be honest with you about how they feel. Yeah, they're trying to manifest you back. They're trying to manifest you back for sure. Oh, sorry. You can't see that. Yeah, this hidden truth is going to come out about how they want this hidden truth to come out about how vulnerable and receptive and open they are with you. Um, about how they really feel about you. I feel like they... They didn't really tell you before. I think they, I think this is like someone that would like you were friends with that they were afraid that they would, they were in the friend zone or they were afraid that it was the wrong timing or like maybe you had like a lot going on. Like maybe you vented to them about like how your ex was mistreating you or like you vented to them about all the stress or like financial stress or just things going on in your life. And so they didn't really 
want to be like, hey, do you want to go out with me? Like, hey, I'm kind of falling in love with you. Like, they didn't want to do that because they felt like it would be selfish of them to make a move on you when you're going through so much. They're like, well, this probably isn't the energy they need, they want in their life right now. You know, they have so much on their plate, so much stress. They're like, they didn't want to like put that on you. You know what I mean? And like make you feel obligated. So they didn't really know what to do. Um, and I just feel like, I feel like they did this to themselves though by not communicating, by not telling you how they felt about you. They really screwed themselves over, you know what I mean? Because this, this could be someone that you're friends with that, like, maybe you are actually attracted to them, but you didn't, you just didn't know if it was there, you know? And, like, it's like they want to be more than friends. Like, they, they want to be more than friends. It reminds me of that song. I want to, what is that, that song that's trending on TikTok right now? I want to. I want to ruin our friendship. We should be lovers instead. <laughs> it reminds me of that. Um, but yeah. That's just the energy I'm getting here. So. But again, they did it to themselves by like not. Maybe they were just like afraid of what you would say or something. Or maybe they're like a coworker or something like that. So like they couldn't really say anything, you know? Or, like, a manager or something. So, it's like they just weren't in a position. Like, they just felt like like you were not in the men the mental space to, like, be open to that. Or, like, they felt like it was, like, the wrong timing or something. Like, they felt like they just didn't feel like they had, like, a green light to go ahead and express their feelings. But they're wanting to... Um, they're wanting an answer. They they want to know how you feel because they want to they want to know either way. They want to get cl like they want to get um either closure or they want a new start with you. But I think that they're tired of being left in the dark and they're tired of not knowing how you feel. So they're wanting to like talk to you. This kind of this person's kind of a pussy though. So I don't know if they're gonna message you though. Like they're wanting to, but I'm I don't I'm surprised I didn't get the message card. Did I get the message card? No, I didn't. Because I have this, I have it in this deck, the message card, and I didn't get that. So I don't really know if they're actually thinking about messaging. It's like they're, I mean, like they want to talk and they want answers, but it's like they still have a lot of pride. Like they're still kind of like pouting. It's like they just keep pouting and they keep expecting you're just going to psychically know that they're pouting and like reach out to them. But it's like their own fault. Like they're doing this to themselves by not telling you how they feel. Like how can they expect you to just automatically know that they upset you. Like, they, they needed to tell you what upset them, and they, they didn't. Maybe they convinced themselves that they were overreacting, so they didn't want to bring it up. Like, they felt like they were being dramatic. But, um, but yeah, this person is wanting something with you, so if you know who this is, you might have to be the one to reach out to them if you want it to go somewhere. Um, even just casually, like, hey, how's, you know, it's been a while since we talked. Like, how are you, how are you doing? You know, I, I miss you. Um, I hope things are going well, you know, but this person, I don't know, this person is like sweet, but they're kind of, I just feel like they're childish in a way too, though, because it's like, why would you just pout and not tell someone how you felt, you know, but I don't know your situation. Like, you know, your situation more than I do. So maybe there is a good reason for it. Like, I mean, I guess it's kind of sweet that they didn't want to put that on you when you already had so much on your plate, but just the pouting seems immature to me. But I, I feel like you have a new person too. That's better than both these fools. Yeah, I feel like you have a, a new person that you could have, like, this, like, adventure, honeymoon, like, travel with, like, vacation, like, all this energy. You know, someone you might go into business with as well. Um, someone who's be dom who might be dominant in the right ways, like, because I feel like the other two people that I channeled, the toxic ex and then the other person I just channeled, they feel kind of, like, immature and, like, like childish and kind of um like submissive and this person this new person I feel like would be more dominant in the right ways like they'd be they'd be stronger they'd be a much stronger person so you have a lot of options so that's something to ponder um if you'd like a private reading my email address is below and I can look more in depth into this situation you know I can look more in depth into to all three of these people into one specific person you know whatever you want I can give you more details um just send me an email below I'm available today and tomorrow, um, throughout the week. Um, yeah. And any donations are appreciated. Even just a dollar, it really adds up quickly. My PayPal link is below and my, um, my cash app is below too. And please subscribe if it resonates. Thanks for watching.